hi guys hello good day everyone so i saw this design and i instantly fell in love with it though i haven't really seen the style around but i know someone might want to try it okay so first thing first you would go ahead and measure around the child's shoulder down to the half length just like i'm doing here this is just for illustration purposes i did not make the dress you saw there i saw it online so now we we'll measure round and whatsoever measurements you get is what you would be using for your structured shoulder cape that is what it is called structured shoulder so here I used I made use of my leftover net, but it's always advisable to use a material not too hard and not too soft. Not too hard or not too soft. Something a bit stretchy is perfect for this. So here this um I don't know what this thing is called. I don't know it, it's in the category of this um uh, boning this they yeah, are boning but this is a smaller one and this particular type comes in different sizes they are of different sizes i think this is the second fattest there's another one a little bigger than this and there are about two that are smaller than this you can make use of any one but i think the smaller the better the smaller the more flexible so we'll be I'll be showing you two different ways of achieving this. So as you can see, it's not even up to a point. It's not even up to a point inch. You know, we have one inch, one inch point something, one inch point something, something. So this is not even up to a point. So we're going to sew as tiny as possible. This tutorial does not really need so much talk. I did all of the talking in the practical so but i'll be explaining as, as we go so you go ahead now remember your net measurement should be the length round the the length when you measure round the shoulder and the width will now depend on how big or how wide you want your structured shoulder keep so that depends solely on how big you want it from the picture i shared earlier you'd see that one on the picture is a bit big and i think that that size is very okay so you'd go ahead and sew on tiny tiny spaces tiny tiny spaces you make sure that the spaces are small as possible if you have a zipper footer a zip footer sorry that is ideal for this because that one has a smaller tit so it can sew comfortably on this but if you do not have a zipper a zip footer you can still use your normal um sewing machine footer to achieve this so you'd sew as tiny as possible on the other way around you can equally attach your your boning inside while you sew remember the length of your boning here depends on the length of that structure you had and mind you i used my leftover three i think three yards a bit 3.5 inches 3.5 yards of boning and you see the kind of little thing i achieved here so if you're if you're looking at getting something like the one you saw in the picture, you should you would be using up to like fifteen yards or more. You would be using enough because this is three and a half yards and what I got was so small. I had to work with what I had. I didn't even use the complete thirty something inches I measured. That one was just to explain how it is done. So after that, after creating those holes, 
it's either you pass the boning through those holes or alternatively you insert your boning and sew you insert your boning and sew or you sew first and then insert your boning whichever one whichever way you would still arrive at the same thing but endeavor to close up the opening on top you close up the opening on top so the the, the boning does not pass through there and go away <laughs> How is everyone doing? I hope we are all fine. I hope you're doing okay. And I hope you've been practicing what you've been learning so far. And I am sure you intend making your baby's dress this Christmas. And you're, you're not going to be giving it to anybody to make for you. At least with the little idea you have here, you should be able to create something. Sewing, since sewing basically is dependent on the basics and once you know the basics you're good to go then it's your creativity that will be be at that will be playing all through but once you know the basics your creativity takes off takes over every other thing so i'll let you guys watch and pick one or two lessons from here right So after this, I had to complete it on my own. And for the edges, you you either gather it or you sew on it. You remember you're not sewing on the boning because it can break your needle. You're sewing on the material. So. After gathering both sides, you're going to put them together. Then you can now attach your bow, whatever you want to put in front there to conceal that joining. So the beauty, the good thing about this is that you can bend it towards any angle you want. That's the beauty. So, so at the end you just attach your bow in front in front there and if you like you can attach something like a belt that can be tied behind or if you don't you can just use maybe um, a fastener just to keep it in place but I think attaching something like a belt after the bow is ideal it's better so it can hold it firmly just like you've seen here so you attach place the bow on your structure and that's all so i hope you guys had fun <laughs> these one or two things it's not a bad idea you can try it you can try this just just make your normal dress and attach this this is supposed to be the chat detachable take note because the child will not be carrying this in about 
it is supposed to be detached maybe for all these photo shoots whatever when the child is done you can take it off and we have no address thank you